EG, powered by GameCloud, as we get ready to go into the match. On Twisted Meadows, Tony HK up against Heavy. It is, as I've completely forgotten the uh, names of the uh, countries, it is Hong Kong against Chile, Asia against South America, Undead against Undead, and we are live. Acolytes for both teams, of course, spawning up a crypt, spawning up a, um, a ziggurat, and then down on the other side, looks like both teams are uh, going for very similar things. We have a crypt and a ziggurat for both teams being spawned. Good luck, had fun set by both teams. Game has kicked off now. Remember, this is the World Cyber Games 2004. Rawkoff 3, Tony HK going up against Heavy. Both undead, Twisted Meadow. And as we wait, neither team have, in fact, summoned a uh, Altar of Dark Darkness. In fact, there goes one. And there goes both of them. In fact, both summoning the Altar of Darkness. No, uh, uh, interestingly, Tony HK has a summoned a graveyard uh, as opposed to a uh, Altar of Darkness. Interesting. Looking at the two maps, both players are extremely close to one another. We have northwest and northeast bases. This will be uh, should provide for some intense battles. It should allow the a lot of creeping to go on at the lower parts of the map. Uh, looking around, crypt has now been constructed by heavy. And looking back across the map, we also have the crypt in the finalizing stages of constructing. It has been constructed, in fact, and we have ghouls coming out of there for. Uh, Tony HK as well. Now, out we go straight away. We have one of the first uh, scouting missions coming out by one of the ghouls. He's going to take a right, and he will find that base right where he would expect it to be. He's going to go that way first, rather than going anti-clockwise, and he would not have found it. Um, <laughs> I think the Counter-Strike player is going crazy in the background. And uh, now, Heavy, sending out his first scout, will be entering the base very, very shortly. No sign of a scout coming out now, either, from him. Uh, Altar of Darkness almost constructed, though, by Tony HK, in goes Heavy, through the front entrance to the bake, takes a strike at another Ghoul, and it's Ghoul to Ghoul, hand on hand action, gonna spawn up a Ziggurat as well, in this heavy, in the Tony HK's base, as we continue here, Heavy now striking down this Ghoul, both taking a bit of damage, but um, now the graveyard has in fact been cons completed, and Heavy is gonna move his Ghoul out of that base, in fact he's gonna go back for more, he's taking on the graveyard, he's already done about 40, no, he's done about 100 uh, damage there, nice work there by Tony HK, to, uh, sorry, by Heavy to do that. Looking at the Order of Darkness, we are training up a Lich for uh, for Heavy. Moving across, we have we're training up a um, at the Order of Darkness. We're training up a Crypt Lord at the uh, at Heavy at uh, Tony HK's uh, Order of Darkness. Very interesting to see two different uh, heroes being trained up right at the start. Obviously, different advantages and disadvantages, but um, in the previous games, everyone has spawned the same weapons. Uh, th uh, the same classes, the same heroes right from the word go, and these two players have taken very different routines to setting up this map here on Twisted Meadows. Now, the Lich automatically going out after being spawned for some creeps with uh, three ghouls with her. Now taking on a Null Brute as well as a Null Assassin. Assassin goes down. It's just that Null Brute who's taken offense to one of the um, one of the ghouls who is uh, hitting him, and down goes the Null Assassin. They're going to move on out. They have uh, they have two skeleton minions there as well. Moving away, they are going for some, uh, going for some more creeps. We also have that Crypt Lord that is out there. We have two lynches there with them, and of course, um, we have uh, two of the Carrion Beetles now going to go out for their first creeping action. Carrion Beetles leading the charge, taking the initial fire. Here comes the uh, Crypt Lord, following up on the Null Brute. Now coming up from, spawning up another Carrion Beetle, taking it straight to this Null Brute. They've already destroyed one of the Null Assassins. Down goes the Null Brute. Nice work there. Straight in the middle of the map now, we have the Lich moving across, taking off a second, um, moving up to level two, and a second creep. Straight around the middle, we have the Crypt Lord moving across, takes down the Null, uh, or taking on Null Wardens, two of them, and a Null Observer, uh, Overseer. And as they do so, the Carrion Beetles moving in. We're going to have the first action between the two forces. They're both going to go for the... Um, for the Crypt Lord, who has taken a lot of damage. The Crypt Lord is in trouble, being isolated off here. They're blocking him off with the uh, Skeleton Minions, and it looks like Crypt Lord has been cornered and has fallen. Nice work there by uh, by Heavy to complete, the, to complete the annihilation by taking down the Crypt Lord. Now moving on up, taking down some Crypt Fiends, and is slowly going to make a move for the base. This is a very exciting start by Heavy, already up to level 2.5. Now moving on up, following them up towards the base with the Ghouls, and is now deciding that that enough is enough. They're going to quickly get try and go up to a uh, hall to the dead. Also revive that Crypt Lord as soon as possible. Both teams are upgrading to the halls of the death. 
Bullets of the dead, sorry. More crypt, uh, more creeping going on here. Null over here. Last one alive already. Two null assassins being taken down. Uh, but of course, all of this time that that level two lich is going up, that is taking away from um, that. While heavy is level two is leveling up, that is taking away from Tony HK. He cannot level up at this point because he doesn't have the hero. So right now, it is certainly advantage Tony HK. Um, advantage hev heavy. Now. One more uh, carrion beetle that's going to go up, up against uh, Heavy's uh, Lynch. Lynch is now going to make the move into the base. If they can, if they can magically deny them the reconstruction of the uh, Crypt Lord. In fact, the Crypt Lord is already back up. And so are a whole army of Crypt, um, uh, of crypt Fiends and three or four of the carrion beetles. And right now, looking at it personnel-wise, Tony HK is outnumbering um, Heavy by uh, about two to one right now. We have four more ghouls coming across to lend a hand to the battle. But uh, realistically... It looks like Tony HK might make him push on the base or might go cre creeping. Yeah, he is going to go for one of the orange creeps right up by the gold mine on the top northwest side of the map. It's going to be two Ogre Magi, two Ogre Warriors, and a Fault Troll Trapper. And uh, they're going to come under the watchful eye of the uh, Crypt Overlord. Three, three, four Crypt Minions, right, uh, sorry, Crypt Fiends right on the edge of the battle now. Taking on this Ogre Magi. Ogre Magi losing a lot of health now. The Ogre Warrior is still going but right in the center of the base. We have a little bit of action going on. In fact, they backed it away. Just a little bit of a raid going on. And now the Lynch is uh, already up to level 3. All alone, though. And that could be a problem because she could run into danger here as she moves across to the northwest side of the map towards the creeping. Right behind, she's going to come up against four crypt, uh, crypt fiends. And this could be very bad news here if she were to get caught up. They're going to go at it one-on-one. -on -one. She's already put, cast a spell. The Crypt Lord is following her out, though. And that Lynch is lost already about 100 HP. Now the Crypt Fiend coming from the base to lend a hand to the fight. That Lynch is getting the heck out of there. Tails up and run, backing away, and uh, looks like she's going to escape. Surprising that, because being all alone, that would give her a perfect opportunity to attack. But here come four ghouls to lend a hand to the fight, as well as some skeleton minions getting right in the thick of things from Tony HK, taking on some of the heavy ghouls, and slowly the, uh, those ghouls are getting decimated, and this lynch is just having to back away. So few ground units upgrading to a black citadel. That would explain it. We have a death knight come up here, looking very good in in hero shape wise but as they upgrade to a black citadel they're not going to waste their time on the smaller units they've already got the obsidian statue up they will also have a slaughterhouse as well and uh, this would be the reasoning why we are not seeing so many of the ground units coming from heavy looking back though at the main base we're only at a halls of the dead stage for uh, tony hk right now and he's spawned himself up a uh, uh, he spawned himself up um a Death Lord as well. He's going to go up to the top left-hand side of the map, go to the Goblin Laboratory, take on the Crypts that are right outside it. We've got a level 6 Rock Goblin out, Rock Golem out there, as well as a tr Forest Troll High Priest. That uh, Crypt Lord, despite being down for a good 60 seconds, uh, having been slayed once, he's now up to level 3, same as the Lynch. And as the Crypt Fiends, and as the Crypt Lord get in there, as does the Death Knight, they're all starting to level up, starting to get a few points. That Death Lord is already up. Death Knight, sorry, is already up to... Uh, Almost level 2, right in the middle of the map now, we have got the Lynch going at it with the Obsidian Statues and some Ghouls, taking down some Ogre Warriors, uh, the Lich and the Death Knight, they're looking at the Lich's level, uh, in fact the Lich is backed away from the battle, um, going back to a base, uh, Lich up to about level uh, 3 and 2 thirds, and as we look around, she's going to back away, the Black Citadel is now up, uh, moving around, the Death Knight is going to lead the charge with 4 Ghouls, Looking at the economy of the two, two teams at this early, early stage, the uh, team of uh, Heavy is still at a very low economy stage, about 150 on both. Tony HK has actually picked up himself a Sacrificial Pit. Very nice, just training himself up a shade. His economy is up to about 150 and 180, respectively, and uh, he is also now upgrading to a Black Citadel. Also spawning up another Ziggurat, and uh, has got the Spirit Tower up as well. Looking in the very center of the map now, we have a bit of creeping going on with that Black uh, uh, with the Death Knight, and as he goes in there, he has backup coming from the Obsidian Statues, but he's lost a fair bit of health. These uh, uh, Forest Troll High Priests have been... Uh, Somewhat a pain in the backside. Here comes the Lich, but right up the rear side with the Creepjack in movement comes a level 3 uh, Crypt Lord and a level 2 Death Knight, as well as Obsidian Statues and Crypt Fiends. And that Lich be makes a beeline to get the heck out of there. And now they're going to turn around, going to take on some more Creeps, or are they going to follow them straight up there? In fact, they're going to follow them straight up, try and get their own Creepjack in movement in. They're going straight across the middle of the map. They're not interested in anything along those lines. And as the Crypt Fiend moves across, 
They're going straight back across the uh, nice Bulgarian man and singing his national anthem once again in the crowd. What a character. And uh, he's waving his flag. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> and now the Death Knight is going to go straight across the middle um, towards the uh, tavern. In fact, the Shade is now following them as well. Nice work here. The Shade just tracking the Death Knight down. Uh, we also have a big Crypt that's been coming in here and both forces going one-on-one. -on -one slowly we have the death knight up in a cyclone and as the action continues here right in the middle of the map we have a battle royale commencing the obsidian statues on the outside we have both death knight trying to get involved one of them very low health here it is heavy's death knight which is down to about 150 hp the death knight right in the middle is down to about 250 losing health as well he is surrounded by the ghouls and by the skeleton minions and is losing health as i speak trying to get it back up we have the lynch on the uh, outside of the battle doing damage to heavy's um Sorry, to Tony HK's uh, uh, Obsidian Statue, I believe he's going for, and the heavy, uh, Heavy's Crypt Fiends is also taking them. Obsidian Statue and Crypt Fiends taking offense to its presence. More Crypt Fiends are coming on the outside of the uh, outside of the map. Now we have lost Heavy's, um, sorry, Tony HK's Death Knight has gone down, and uh, now they're trying to make a push on the Crypt Lord, which has just gone up to a level four. But it looks like the retreat has been called. And the crypt, the crypt fiends, the crypt lord, and the two obsidian statues, that's all that's left of that force, are getting the heck out of there. But look what is coming up behind them. We have got three or four, well, we've got the whole army of heavy. This is going to follow them straight into the base. With not much of the ground units left in the base, it's going to be down to the ghouls to fight them hand in hand. They have moved out of here. We've got a few, um, a few shots coming off the spirit tower and off the black citadel. But so far, this is looking good for the lynch, which is now up to level four and a half outside the base. That back comes the Crypt Lord, making them do the running. We have an abomination up there, but from Heavy, taking, taking on the Death Knight, which has just gone up to level 3. Heavy now with the Obsidian Statue as well on the backhand side of the map, moving them slowly towards the... Um, slowly away from Tony HK's map. But, of course, the Shade is just stalking the... Uh, stalking Tony HK... Uh, uh, sorry, Tony HK's Shade is just stalking Heavy in everywhere they go, and um, Heavy is now going to move his units out of there pretty fast. Now, that shade still looking around, still being mischievous. In the middle of the map we also have a skeleton archer just about to be destroyed there. Two skeleton archers just about to be destroyed in the middle of the map. Right on the top hand side of the map now uh, we have, uh, right up, up north we have Heavy making another movement towards the goblin laboratory. Uh, he thought the creeps, were, the creeps were there, now they're gone. And as they're going to make another move around, are they going to go for the base? Because the base door has just been let wide open because the orange army, the army of Tony HK, has just left the base. So we shall see if they're going to make a move into the base. Obviously, they don't know that. We have built up a tomb of relics it, uh, for Tony HK, and uh, it is, in fact, very low on HP. It could be destroyed here. Here comes the revived Death Knight to slay some, uh, to slay some baddies, and in goes that... Um, I'm sorry, down goes the vault, and uh, that is let... That has made the uh, Heavy just back away. He does not seem too interested in him. Still stalked by that shade, of course. And Sudden Satchi's doing their job, moving back up towards the Goblin Merchant. The Orange Army not going not gonna to respond to that. Up by the Goldmine on the top left-hand side of the map uh, is the uh, Reaping Army of Tony HK. As I look up, we have, a, uh, we have got Heavy with an Acolyte up at a Goldmine does look like he could go for a fast expansion if possible but right in the center of the base comes heavy's army he's moving it on in here town portals back and the army is here the orange army up against the green it's heavy versus tony hk here at the world cyber game 2004 and radio itg warcraft 3 here it goes both armies going head to head abomination to abomination taking chunks out of one another and the heroes fighting hand to hand with more abomination one of the shades gets destroyed we're going to move that death knight out of there down to about 200 hp the lich is going to lend a hand but those crip uh, those carrion beetles are going to take on that death knight which is down to about 11 hp it's going to have to town portal the heck out of there and that it does down to 20 hp 30 hp out it goes and had he not done that he would have fallen and that would have been in the cost and that would have been costly now as we look around um, I don't see the third hero yet for Heavy. In fact, for either team, I do not see the third hero up yet. Uh, nope. And now looking across, it looks like the Orange Army of Heavy HK is going to make a push, uh, Tony HK, is going to make a push to uh, go down to the south end of the map to get some creeping. Both teams going southward through this map to get further creeping on. Heavy slowly going down. 
We have uh, some Ogre Warriors and an Ogamagi just waiting for him. Forest Troll Trapper there as well. Abomination striking them down, leading the battle in there. We have some Obsidian Statues following it up. And of course the Lynch and the Death Knight. Death Knight now back up to about 300 HP. And as they do so, the Forest uh, Troll Trapper and Forest, um, both Forest Troll Trappers are going to take damage here. And um, as they do so, the Obsidian Statues just on the backhand side of the wall, as are the Crypt Fiends. Now, panning straight across to the west side of the map we have another acolyte going towards tony H hk's acolyte going towards the gold mine gonna try and build up a wanted gold mine that'll be a little while away the acolyte up at the top hand side of the uh up to the top hand side of the map now gonna summon his haunted gold mine both at the same time we're both at similar stages at this map both teams in a similar situation the bulgarian guy is screaming from the crowd uh bulgaria aren't playing until later on in the afternoon uh in fact bulgaria aren't playing here at all but um that's interesting. <laughs> now, we have the Tomb of Relics being reconstructed here. The green army of Heavy is slowly moving across through the center of the map, making its way towards uh, Tony HK's army. So as he does so, Tony HK is down at the bottom the left-hand side of the map, doing some creeping with the uh, le level 4.75 Crypt Lord, I would say. Now, towards the, uh, towards the uh, fast expansion, they are going, and they are going to slay down this haunted Crypt Mine gold mine before it can do anything they're going to take on the uh, acolyte that is here the death knight is going to slay him down and down it goes death knight gets a little bit of xp for that and that is game over for that expansion looking at the haunted gold mine up the looking up at um sorry looking up at heavy's haunted gold mine it looks like he is getting is going to be successful with his expansion and as he does so they're about to push in through up through the main base entrance as they do so they're led by the abominations and the crypt fiends the uh, Tony HK's army is in fact down at the very far side of the map. It will take a town portal to get there quick enough. Here it goes. They're going to take on that Tomb of Relics once again. It's already fallen once. It looks like it's going to fall again. Down to about 50 HP. Down it goes. And now here comes the town portal. Here comes the returning army. Battle Royale is on. Or not. They have both... Uh, both gone separate ways, one up to the north side of the base and the other one straight out the back of the base. Heavy has moved away and uh, as he does so, he uh, Heavy is going to just slowly go up towards the Goblin Merchant at the uh, top side, the Goblin Laboratory, sorry, at the top side of the map, just passing by the Orange Army of Tony HK, doubling back with the Abominations, just going to follow straight in Tony HK's army. The six or seven Crypt Lords, uh, Crypt Fiends are the ones that are going to be taking on this Abomination. One of them taking a few shots in the back. The Abomination is going to have to turn around. The Obsidian Statues are up and present, but uh, looking at the two sizes of the army, I would have to say the Tony HK right now has just about the larger of the two armies, both very similar in unit completion and in heroes. We have now spawned up a Lich uh, for Tony HK. Have we got a third hero yet, though, for uh, for Heavy? I do not believe so. I have not seen, seen a uh, third hero come out of that Order of Darkness, but I could be very wa wrong. Uh, the Lich has leveled up to level 4 now. Looking across, we have the Death Knight up to... Uh, we have the Death Knight up to level 3, and as they do so, they're going to continue on. The Abomination pushing down slowly. As they come around, they have uh, the Crypt Fiends and the Abominations moving around on the top-hand side of the map. It's Tony HK, not 100% sure what to do. So far, he's circumnavigated every part of the map. They're going to make a beeline for the expansion, and this Haunted Goldmine is going to come under attack, and it's the re uh, rebuilding Ziggurat. And as they do so, the Ziggurat is going to fall down. They're going to ignore the Haunted Goldmine. I find that strange. But here comes the green army of, to of Heavy making a beeline straight for Tony HK, who has not spotted the army. Here it goes. Leading the charge is the Carrion Beetles, and they're going to back away, make a little uh, scuttle across towards the Acolytes at the uh, Haunted Crypt. They're going to do so. Both teams are going to go head-to-head. -head. Now the Abominations leading the, uh, leading the fight, as are the Carrion Beetles going straight into this one. Heavy is going to move his Crypt Fiends in there as well. We have two of each up at the top right-hand side, and we have the uh, Obsidian Statues. We have a destroyer there as well, the first air unit we've seen today. So both teams are going up once again at one another. We have the Lich up in a cyclone, getting destroyed there. Oh, they're taking damage. We have the uh, Death Knight taken down to about 150 HP. Last time it got down to about 20 before it, um, before it town portal home. Now that Death Knight right in the thick of things, as is, to as is Tony HK's Death Knight down in there. Still in a very good HP at about 50% regular HP. I believe the town portal has been called by the Lich here, and it's going to get the forces out of there and out of harm's way, right as Tony HK is now going to move back up to this haunted gold mine, take offense at its presence, and just push it down as they do so. The Acolytes have taken damage. They are moving on up. 
They're taking down all the Anklugs before they take down the gold mine, stopping any gold being secured. Looking at that gold mine for Heavy, he's got about 500 gold to about 60 lumber. Uh, not much lumber coming in there at all. I'm not sure what is, whether it's uh, not got many ghouls at all. I'm really not seeing that many ghouls, three or four. Oh no, we're around the side, he got a few more, I don't know. What am I talking about? Uh, now looking at the economy of the Orange Army of Heavy, he has got about 250 gold to about 100, uh, 100 wood, and here we have spawned a Frostworm. That is a very nice unit, they're s flying across the map, going to join the army up as it, um, as the uh, Tony H. Key's army is going to move straight into the front door of Heavy's base, but he has not seen it right now. Very quiet, whisper, whisper, as he does so. He's backed away from the door to the base. He's now going to go for a little bit of creeping down towards the Goblin Merchant. He's going to do his shopping at the Goblin Merchant now. Back straight up to the base. It looks like we're going to have some creeping going on here by Heavy. Right with Tony HK's army just behind them. They don't realize that. they got a shade following their every move. The shade has given the call. Tony HK has answered it and is going to come in with the Creepjack any second now as the Rock Golem says a, a Forest Troll High Priest keep Heavy's army occupied. Right in the rear comes up Tony HK with with some more shots going in there. Abominations leading the charge in there. We have a Crypt Fiend going in there as well. The Shade is still watching everything go. We have uh, uh, Boots of Quell Face down on the ground, as is a Tone of Intelligence as well. Neither team picking those up just yet. And uh, that Forest Troll Trapper is still alive and is still going to be following them around. The Carrion Beetle with the Abomination is going to move on in there. The attack is still going. We have Heavy's uh, Abomination surrounding the Death Knight right in the center of that from Tony HK. And the Abomination is going to fall. That's going to leave Tony HK enough room to get his Death Knight out of there. And it looks like the Lich is leveled up to level 2 from Tony HK. It looks to me like he's on top of this battle as we're going to see the Death Knight town portal back out of there. But I think the Lich has fallen. In fact, no, it hasn't. Heavy's Lich is still there. He's got just a Lich, and we have lost Death Knight from, uh, to from Heavy. He did go down before he could get the heck out of that battle, and straight away I would imagine they're going to try and revive him. No, they're not. Um, up at the top-hand side of the map, we have the Haunted Goldmine, uh, which is being deconstructed now. The Goldmine has gone, and as we move around, it looks like they're going to have to press for a fast expansion. They lost one of the expansions early on. As they did that, they now cleared up room for another expansion. Oh, did they? There's no gold mine up here where the Acolytes are moving, and uh, I'm not sure whether they're quite aware of that. They're going to move down south, in fact, towards another gold mine, which I don't believe they have cleared. Now, Tony HK with a uh, level 1 Crypt Lord and with a uh, level 5 Lich is slowly moving across to the uh, southwest of the map. Very few units up here by Heavy. He's got, I would say, I would say four units right now. Four units that could be of an offensive use. He's got very little money in the bank. He's not reviving his Death Lord. Uh, Death Knight, and as he does so, he's going to make a push with the Lich and with the uh, Crypt Lord up to the top left-hand side of the map. Looking at Tony, H uh, looking at Heavy's army, it would, I would say, outnumber Heavy. Uh, Tony HK's army would outnumber Heavy's army by about five to one right now. He has that Frostworm offering air support as well. We have not seen much use of it. The Frostworm is going to go on over there because right now there's not much that could stop him. And as he does so, he's going to make a move on one of the acolytes. And here comes the attack from Tony HK right onto the base. And as he does so, the only thing that Heavy has is a few heroes and a few obsidian statues over on the very opposite side of the map. So the Orange Army has taken it to them. The gold mine is gone. There is very little that's going to come from Tony uh, from Heavy unless he can get a fast expansion going. He has an expansion on the bottom side of the map, but he has not gone for it. Good game being set by both teams. I think this is over. I think Heavy has lost it, and indeed it has, as the Frost is just going to take it on. And Heavy has left the game. Tony HK was victorious. This game is over here on Radio ITG. Tony HK, well, got a much higher total score there. And uh, what a cracking game we have seen there today. Heavy just losing out there after about 23 minutes here on Radio ITG. We're watching Warcraft 3 here at the World Cyber Games 2004. We're from San Fran, Sunny Cisco. And here we go. We're going to be taking you back with some more Warcraft 3 later on in the day. As I take a look around uh, for the nice schedule, uh, coming up later in the day, we've got Hong Kong going up against... No, sorry, that was Hong Kong of Tony HK taking the victory over Chile and Heavy. And then the Czech Republic player, Shia Gomo, is going to take on the Romania TEG Bird. Um, I believe we saw one of the TEG players yesterday. Yes, we did. It was Rashmi, please. So that will be happening later on today at about 3.30 in the afternoon. So in about 60 minutes' time here, live on Radio ITG from the World Cyber Games 2004.